yeah, I think I'll take that one. So today is going to be talking about the little John Rahm drill that we've been seeing recently, quite a hot topic right now, where he's setting that club a little bit behind the golf ball when he's trying to hit more of a draw shape a shot and also get a little bit more speed out of it. I chose this hole because it shapes from right to left. So this does require or would benefit a draw type of pattern. So if I can, for me as a right-handed golfer, get that ball starting to the right and curving back. Now, let's get straight into why it makes a difference, why John Rahms feels like he can hit a draw shape when he moves that club behind the golf ball. And it's quite Mo Norman-esque, which the younger viewers may need to Google him, but Mo Norman was apparently the straightest hitter out there. And we start with that club behind the ball. It does a couple of things. So let me get one on a tee and show you. So I'm gonna take my normal address position where the ball would be just inside my lead heel. My left heel for me is a right-handed player. But now I'm gonna move that club six to 12 inches back behind the golf ball. The main thing that does is closes my shoulders, which means that my upper half starts pointing a little bit more for me as a right-handed golfer to the right of the target. That can help encourage more of an in-to-out path, hence why we can hit more of a draw shape from there. So we definitely need the path direction going more to the right than the club face is aiming to get that ball bending to the left, that curvature, okay? So pulling back that club, closes the shoulders, but also from a face-on angle, you will see there, it actually gets me set a little bit more behind the golf ball. So golfers from that position tend to feel like they've got a little bit more time, perhaps to try and square the club face. So they feel like they're setting up this part, that they've actually got a little bit more time to get the toe to catch up with the heel. Now, in reality, to actually hit a draw shape, we do want the ball starting to the right of the target. So actually I do need the club face slightly open to my target. I just need it closed compared to my swing direction. Okay, I'll say that again. I need the club face aiming a little bit right of the target where I want the golf ball to start. I'd need the swing direction going more to the right than my face is aiming for me as a right-handed golfer. And that's what's gonna create this right to left draw shape. So we don't actually want the club face pointing way left, but we need it left of our swing direction. So it can give you a bit more time to feel like you can square it. It also helps, I give lots of golfers this, who are hitting too much down on the golf ball and losing some yardage. So perhaps this is why John Rahm again feels like he gains a little bit more when he does this, is you will create more of an upward angle of attack. So it feels like my club is moving more up and that's why I actually used a slightly higher tee. So I'd encourage you, if you're gonna try it, to go up one tee height or if you're using a wooden tee, just peg it up a little bit more. Because I'm gonna be hitting more up on it, I feel like I want that ball a little bit higher up in the air. Let's do one now. I actually didn't get that path into out enough, but I did get that draw shape as you can see. So that's my normal ball position, opposite left heel, but I'm just gonna move that club six to 12 inches back behind the golf ball. That's gonna help close my upper body, so aim more to the right of the target. And you will see as I move the club back, it looks like I am tilted a little bit more behind the golf ball. So potentially we'd see a little bit more pressure here towards that trail foot, maybe more like 60-40 rather than a 50-50 setup. So it can feel like you start a little bit more onto your back foot. From there, I'm just gonna make my normal golf swing. I'm just gonna feel like I make my normal swing. It's really important if you try this to still finish the swing, still get through the golf ball. I don't want you hanging back to try and hit it just because you feel like you're more behind the ball. So do get through it. Let's see if I can hit that high draw. Very, very similar to the last one. It felt good. I might even have to go slightly higher still in T height. 6.6 .6 on the way up. I feel like I might actually even go one higher in T height on the very next shot and see if I can get that strike a little bit higher in the head, gain some more efficiency. There's one more thing I wanted to touch on, however, with this setup position. So when I move the club back behind the golf ball and I don't, move my hands back, it will look like 
and it will actually happen. It'll open the club face a little bit. So it will aim the club face more to the right. So we've got to counteract that with this swing direction, but we've again got the upper body alignment to allow that to happen. So if I move the, try this at home. If you move the club forwards and you don't change your hands, the club face is going to point to the left. If you move the club back and you don't move your hands, it's going to aim to the right. So when I move that club back, I'm not moving my handle back. I'm accepting the club face is aiming a little bit more to the right where I want the ball to start. I've now just got to make sure my swing direction is more to the right than the face. And that's being helped because I'm closing my upper body. But if you're still struggling to draw it, you could always drop that trail foot back a little bit more as well. So really feel like you close up your body, effectively aiming your body one more to the right of the target than you would the club face. I'm gonna try one more with that higher tee and see if we can get that strike just a little bit more in the middle of the golf club. So that is quite a lot higher than I would normally tee the ball. The full ball, if not a little bit more, is above the top of the golf club. Normal setup, but then move that club back, except it's aiming to the right. My upper body is closed, aiming more to the right. And you could even drop that trail foot back if you feel like it helps you to hit more that draw shape. I feel like I'm a little bit more behind the golf ball now. I've just got to make sure I do commit to getting all the way through in that finish. Okay, I am three for three in terms of high draws. Again, didn't feel fantastic. So, you know, whenever you're trying something new, it's probably going to take you a few swings. I have tried this before, but not recently. It was my longer carry, longer distance, considering we're uphill here on the tee shot. Um, it was the longest one of the bunch. Again, massively on the way up, 6.7 degrees. I'm getting the path about zero, so I could actually really, for me, get the feeling of swinging a little bit more to the right if I wasn't already drawing it. But you can see all three of those started right, bent left, and they were high draws. And that's all I was really trying to get out of this. And good club head speeds again, 108. The strike hasn't felt perfect yet, so it may take me a little bit more time to get that John Rahm middle strike while doing it. But I would suggest if you need that high draw type of shape, if you've got the wind behind or the whole dog legs, uh, for you as a right-handed golfer to the left, meaning you can draw it left-handed the other way around, why not give it a go? Try it on the driving range, first of all, but perhaps that little John Rahm setup with that club slightly behind could help you picture that swing direction going more up and more to the right to help hit that high draw shape that we're really looking for. Give it a go in practice as always first before taking it to the golf course. If that video has helped, make sure you hit the thumbs up. Share it with as many golfers as you can, those golfers who really need that draw next time they're on the course. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more content just like this.